Hello everyone, welcome to these exciting Art House Urban Bright Arts and Education videos. Art House's mission is to inspire exploration and expression in the visual arts. We work with professional artists who will be instructing you on some amazing arts and crafts projects. Are you ready? My name is Emily and I'm the program director at Art House Inc. And today we are going to be doing a exercise on how to shade with pen. To do this exercise, you will need a piece of paper. Um, I drew some circles using a coaster and a pen. Um, this is one of my favorite mediums. I use pen in almost all of my own artwork. Uh, for example, though, we have some, an artist who I really like called Hubert. And here's one of his pieces. He was a black and white illustrator and he started coming really into popularity um, in 1881. He went to school for an architect and used a lot of different kinds of ways to shade. One of the ways I use them is different ways. I use pattern lines some stippling but today we are just going to practice uh, different methods of how to shade here's a little example I found online So as I said, you need a piece of paper and a pen, and we're going to start. One of the first things you do is you figure out where you want your light source to be. I usually do the top right corner going this way, uh, down to your left corner. So I'm going to start with just some basic lines. So the lines are just lines at this time, but to make them look more shading, which is what our, our, our goals are to here today, all you have to do is add some more lines where it would be darker, which would be near the bottom since my light source is in the top right corner. All right, uh, another way is crosshatch, which is doing the very similar pattern there. The closer your lines are together, the darker your shade will be. And then you go the other direction to make your cross hatch. All 
Now you can also go another direction and layer these cross hatches. And like I said, the closer you get them together, the darker they will be. All right. Another way is you can make uh, lots of different patterns. So there's like the scribble method, which is just scribbling in circles. This is great if you're trying to shade um, something that has like wool or a lot of curly fur and you just use bigger circles to line it up. See the darker versus the light. Um, one of my favorite ways to shade with pen is stippling. It takes a while because you're using dots. So I'm actually just going to do a circle within a circle here. But as I said, stippling takes a lot of time. And I'm going to start dotting. There are some artists who actually draw with stippling, so their entire drawing is made out of dots, which could also be called pointillism. So hopefully you can see that there's a dark versus a light part of the dots. You can also do X's as another way to shade. It's a different texture. Obviously, the more X's you add, the darker the color. I'd say this would probably be good on a, um, we wanted to use this texture on trees or grass. Right? You can also do curved lines. that in. It's kind of more of like a loose shading um, pen. I am not standing up. Because your pen wants to be pointed down. Okay. And then You can do all kinds of mixtures within that in between. Like you can do some lines, right? But instead of just doing your cross hatch, you can take your swirls here. And 
and create a swirling crosshatch. So I hope you got to learn a little bit of different techniques on how to create shading with pen. So there was my lines, X's, crosshatch and stippling, swirled marks, scribbles, and a circular crosshatch. Our next video, we will be working on a small scale drawing. So you can choose a shading technique and work along with us. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for listening to Art House's video today. Don't forget to like, share, and comment with what you've made. Tune in to another instruction video on our Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube page. We are grateful to our funders and individual donors who have made this programming possible. We also wish to thank Lil Blizzard Boy from Refresh Collective for our background music. See you soon!